this view of the mission control center sabhi ke chehron par thode tanav ke kshan shayad aankhon ke nishchitta ke liye hame thodi pratiksha karni padegi Now once we have the updates from the from the mission control room we will come back to you so we just are waiting for the lagbhag radha krishnan ji 16 minute 12 second beet gaye hain aur jo veg maan hai wo 48 aur 59 hi dikha raha hai तो हम अभी आंकड़ों की पुष्टि के लिए थोड़ा सा इंतजार करेंगे वोडी विक्रम कंफर्म स्टेशन कॉन्फ्रेशन फॉर रिसीविंग बोथ एस बैंड एक्स बैंड आर कॉन्फ्यूगर्ड सफर बटे We are not receiving from Madrid, HBK, and Mauritius. We are just awaiting for the updates from the mission control room. So please stand by. लगभग 17 मिनट अड़तीस सेकेंड व्यतीत हो चुके हैं और जब तक आंकड़े सामने नहीं आ जाते कुछ कहना मुश्किल है सभी वैज्ञानिक अपने कंसोल पर कंप्यूटर पर आंकड़ों का अध्ययन करते हुए ताकि किसी निष्कर्ष पर पहुंचा जा सके view of the mission control center hamare manani pradhan mantri ji unke chehre par bhi utsukta ya aankhon ka intezar bilkul saaf dikhai pada aur mission ke vaigyanik aapse discussion ke baad hi kisi nishkarsh par pahuncha ja sakega ये जो आप ग्राफ अपने स्क्रीन पर देख पा रहे हैं ये विक्रम डिसेंट प्रोजेक्ट्री है कैसे किस तरह से जो वर्टिकल एल्टीट्यूड था जो ऊंचाई थी वो और आंकड़े नीचे प्राप्त हुए उसके बारे में सो चेयरमैन इसरो जस्ट गिविंग ब्रीफिंग टू दी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया so they are getting the data looks like they are uh, just looking at the flight data all subsystems empty orbiter operations are on in fact at the end of uh, the fine breaking phase the the vikram lander should have been at an altitude of almost nearly uh, 400 meters and uh, if you look at the plots so we are seeing that the this most reached uh, close to a kilometer from the landing site hum log landing site ke behad kareeb pahunch gaye hain shayad isro ke chairman ne pradhan mantri ko 
आ, कुछ संदेश दिया प्रधानमंत्री जी धीरे धीरे अब कक्ष से नीचे आते हुए आप जल्दी ही किसी भी घोषणा का घोषणा की उम्मीद कर सकते हैं आ, कुछ ही क्षणों में हम जो आंकड़ों को अध्ययन के बाद जो भी निष्कर्ष होगा उस तक पहुंचेंगे प्रधानमंत्री जी धीरे धीरे अपने कक्ष से नीचे उतर के आ, नीचे आते हुए We're just awaiting the All right, so this is what the scene is like at the Istrak Center in Bengaluru. Some pretty tense faces at the center there. 
These are, of course, the final moments of the lander as it has been heading closer to the surface of the moon. The 15 minutes of terror, as, as K7, the chairman of ISRO, stated, this is what has played out. And in the studios, we're also joined in by Mr. Yuri Suri, who almost made it to space. You were sir, um, a part of the team that, that was training to go up in space. You know, just, just talk us through what, what is unfolding right now at Istrak in Bengaluru. I could tell you as much as you could tell me. Uh, we've seen the tense faces there. The 15 minutes of terror has stretched to 20 minutes of terror. And now we actually realize the, the terrorizing minutes that we've been through. It is, it is, a, it is a segment of the, the mission where these, all these capable scientists sitting in Bangalore cannot do anything. The programs have been preloaded and various algorithms have been preloaded and the Chandrayaan, the lander Vikram was doing exactly what it felt like and without any control from here, which is why it was you know, so That's terrorized. an interesting point that you've said because every single one of these scientists, they are sitting at their terminals, but they have absolutely no control over what is happening with the lander. All of this is pre-programmed, it is being mapped, it is, it is just following instructions that have already been fed into its software and every one of them is just monitoring the moment unfold there biting their fingernails, pulling out their hair. I mean, that's about it. That's why it's such a tense 15 minutes. They have no control over it. Absolutely. I mean, there will be no one who would have any fingernails left after these minutes. Yes, Mr. Srivastava, you wanted to comment on this. See, uh, what uh, Yuri just said, since it is mapped and artificial intelligence is going to take control for the final landing, uh, when the fi firing of the four engines happens and then last uh, 10 meters when the uh, central engine would work. So that is totally out of control because the lander and the orbiter cannot communicate to each other at this point of time. So we do not know what has happened until the lander lands and then it starts communicating to extract back in Bangalore. So we have to actually wait for some kind of signal to come from the lander which is Vikram before uh, we can understand it has landed at the place it was supposed to land or not landed. Orbiter would, at this point of time is not in communication with the lander. Orbiter is not in communication with the and lander. And therefore Istrak is not in communication with the lander or the, uh, or, or the, or, or the rover at this point of time. There are many tense faces as we look at those scientists who are sitting there at the terminal. These are the students, the 73 students who had been brought in to watch this historic moment along with India's Prime Minister. And, and this, in, in, in many ways, was one of the most ambitious um, maneuvers that, that has been attempted. Let's, let's listen into what's being said. So, yeah. All right, so we, we expect some kind of an announcement yes. there to be made by ISRO. So, this, this is in, in many ways some tense moments that are unfolding there. So, the latest that we have got in, in terms of uh, what ISRO has stated about the status of this lander is that there is no signal that, that's coming through. The 15 minutes of terror. They've now got extended to about 27 minutes of terror because that is how long this process of landing, the slow, fine landing has lasted. And, and there could be many reasons as to why this has happened. There could be many reasons as to why there is, at this point of time, no signal that's been sent out by, by the lander. And, and Mr. Yuri, uh, you know, you've, you've tracked stuff like this all your life and, and, and you know you know, what goes on behind the scenes when, when missions like these are attempted. You know, give us a sense of what, what is going on, you know, at this point of time at Istra. You know, one can only be optimistic and hope that it's a communications failure or just a telemetry failure where they haven't got the inputs from the Vikram, which has actually uh, done a fantastic landing. We don't know about it. But till there is an official announcement, since there are, there's nobody taking any pictures there. There's nobody already on the South Pole which is taking pictures of the Vikram landing. 
So we can't get that input. The Vikram is supposed to tell us whether it's landed or not. If there is a little communications failure, if there's a telemetry failure, we will not know that till we get some kind of contact or till the orbiter goes over them and, you know, whether it's a visual contact or whether it's some kind of telemetry contact that we can get through the Vikram, uh, through the orbiter. To back to Earth, we will not know anything. Absolutely, indeed. Very tense moments unfolding at is is track there, and and this, you know, let's let's remind our viewers is um, such a crucial juncture of Chandrayaan two mission.